Mark and Michelle, we just heard from the LAPD just a few minutes ago. They tell us two of the pedestrians who were struck died. One of them died here at the scene. The other one died at the hospital and we're told both of them were minors. Authorities also confirm uh, sheriff's deputy vehicle is the vehicle that struck those pedestrians. We'll get to part of that news conference in just a moment, but let me show you some pictures of Air 7 over the scene uh, this evening. This happened around uh, 730 and we have pictures uh, from the scene with a massive response from law enforcement. We have pictures of that sheriff's SUV with damage to the front end and what looks like skid marks on the sidewalk near the intersection of Whittier Boulevard and Indiana Street. We could also see two other vehicles in the intersection, a minivan and a sedan. The sedan also had damage to the front end. They were near a body that was covered with a white sheet near that a deputy SUV. We also heard from witnesses and from law enforcement again just a few minutes ago. As they were responding southbound Indiana, as they approached the intersection of Whittier, they became involved in a three-party traffic collision. As a result of that three-party traffic collision, we know the sheriff's vehicle struck five pedestrians, five pedestrians who were on the southeast corner. Yeah, I was inside of my home. I heard the crash. Within seconds, I was outside. I live just a, a few feet from the incident. Um, and I got there, I saw a little boy with a, um, a white blanket over him. Um, another one across. Uh, he was not, I'm not sure if he was conscious or not. It didn't look like he was. Witnesses that were, that saw what happened have confirmed that they saw that it was a cop, a police vehicle. What happened? Law enforcement says that the sheriff's deputy was responding to a report of a gunshot victim. We're also told two deputies were transported to the hospital but suffered minor injuries and are expected to be released soon. Uh, there are three other victims still hospitalized. We don't know the extent of their injuries.